I have a number of health-related issues that I was hoping to address with block therapy. Um, they are very numerous, so it, it was a little bit overwhelming trying to, to get to those. Um, I have a ruptured EHL tendon in my foot. I have a sore left hip that's been bothering me for uh, nine years, I guess. Um, I have a dowager's hump in the back of my neck. Um, and I've had golfer's elbow for about three or four years now. And I've done physiotherapy on the hip and the elbows and I haven't been able to resolve them. After I completed the 90 day challenge, I noticed that my elbows, my golfer's elbows felt a lot better. I was able to paddleboard. I'm, I'm able to do a couple lengths of our small lake now, which is great because I couldn't do that before. I have no problem getting up on our floaty island, which is fantastic. And the hip pain I noticed, um, I think it was on day five of the 90 day challenge. I went, holy smokes, my hip pain is gone. I did notice too that my dowager's hump, um, if you see the pictures of me, because that's the only way I can see it, it does look like it's flattened out a bit. I still have to work on it. I, I still have to work a lot. I know I will, um, you know, but I, I do find that now with that 90 day challenge, I was, I was overwhelmed before doing that, which is why I was inconsistent with blocking. There were so many issues to address and why am I blocking something that doesn't seem like it's related? Why am I blocking my calves when it's hip pain? That kind of thing. Uh, doing the 90 day challenge, it, I knew it would cover everything. So I knew I would get a taste of that throughout the whole thing. And it became a habit for me. So I can say now that I have blocked every single day since April 1st even though the 90 day challenge is over because it's now almost the end of July and I'm still blocking every single day even if I'm getting home at midnight I, I make it a conscious effort it may technically be the next day but it isn't because I'm still awake and I will make sure that I block at least that half hour before so I can keep that consistent so this for me is going to be a lifestyle now and I'm glad that I was able to get to that point where it is I'm over that mind block, and no pun intended there with the block, but I'm over that mind block that says, ah, oh, you know, I, even though I know it feels good, I'm not going to do it today. Now I know I'll do it every day. Even when I've, um, when I've been this weight before, I haven't looked this way before. Things are different. They, they are shaping differently. So I'm excited about those changes. I do feel smaller. I look smaller. Um, I noticed a lot of this is gone, <laughs> uh, my waist is definitely, I'm getting a waist, I'm usually very straight and I am getting a waist now. Um, yeah, I, I feel I'm fitting into clothes I haven't been able to wear in years or that I bought and never returned, but I will fit into them because I'll lose weight sometime. And now I can actually wear them and some of them are big, so I'm very happy about that. It's like getting a, a really firm massage, which I do like, they're, where they're really working at you. Um, if you're hesitating, don't hesitate. Just do it. Don't even think about it. Just do it. Give it a try. What have you got to lose? Nothing, right? If anything, you will be in less pain.